is live in Troy with how police say she pulled it off. Craig, what do you have? Hi, Greg. Well, a big part of the story is how she failed to pull it off, actually. You know, people will remember two things about this case. One is just the idea of stealing money from people whose injuries were so devastating and came during an event that devastated an entire city. And the other thing is the apparent lack of foresight into doing any kind of planning to try to get away with this. Now, according to the investigators in this case, is 26-year-old Audrea Goss. She filed a false claim, they say, with the One Fund Boston. That's the organization that's been accepting and distributing money to help the victims. The claim in this case, authorities say, was a brain injury. She's accused of receiving $480,000 on July 1st. Troy Captain John Cooney says on July 15th, Goss brought $377,500 in a paper bag, cash in a bag to a home to a home builder. Cooney says that was the beginning of the end. He says Goss had been in Boston Medical Center once before for what he called a claimed fall, and he says she had medical forms. She had been treated at Boston Medical Center for a claimed fall at one point in the not too distant past, and using those forms, she then made the appropriate vouchers and emergency discharge forms uh, including the logos, including the correct letterhead type, etc. The actual charge here is larceny over $250. Massachusetts authorities did all of the work in this case, according to Cooney. This woman was arrested today here in Troy. She told the court she's unemployed, has no means of support. The Massachusetts authorities were here in court during the arraignment. Extradition is still a question. She's locked up tonight in the Rensselaer County Jail. We're all waiting to see whether she'll waive extradition and go off to Massachusetts to face these charges. We have tried to get a hold of the builder in the case that she offered the money to. Uh, Cooney gave credit to that person uh, for helping to bring this case to the point where it is now. I put a call in to the spokesperson at SEFQ. That's the bank where this woman set up a bank account with this money, according to the investigators. And the person I spoke to at SEFQ said they can't comment because of the ongoing investigation. We're still gathering information in this case. We'll let you know when we get more. We're live in Troy Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.